focus, focus steer on my face. I'm waiting for it to focus. There we go. Hi everybody. So I'm in my house in Las Vegas. I just moved in here not too long ago and I need some like art on the walls. But I decided like I can do it myself. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna take you like along. Of course I don't have like just one or two, I have like three. So I have this little guy, I'm gonna put him in the bathroom. And then I have these two big guys and I'm gonna put them side by side on this wall over here. I want to like ombre this color with this like peachy pink pastel -y color. You're basic. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do the color that's gonna go underneath. And so these two, they're gonna go right next to each other here. So they're gonna be completely opposite. What am I gonna paint on them? I don't know yet. This, I'm gonna start with the soft white. It's called like parchment. So I'm gonna do that soft white here because it's gonna be this pink flowing in here. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. This one's gonna be more a little bit like split in the middle, I guess. I don't know, I'll figure that out. But this one, I'm gonna take this little pink guy and I'm gonna do that around here. So paint that pink in here and then fill the rest in with that parchment color here. So they're like opposite, but they'll like look good next to each other. Will they? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna try and start to do that now. I'll let you know. And then I've been thinking of doing like a sketch. I'm gonna find some sort of like line art that I can copy, but I need to do this and then let it set. So I'm gonna start that and then I'll show you what the first like little ombre thing looks like before we add like the next layer that's gonna blend into that color. We finished up with like the first part and let me explain what's going on. Right here we have like this tan going into here. The same thing over here. I said this would be more the middle, but I'm gonna kind of mirror it over sort of this one because I think the peach color this one over here is a little bit more muted. When I first started using this color, which is this one right here, it just says light portrait pink. It just came out and it felt like too vibrant. So what I did was when I was applying it here, I started to mix in a little bit of this sandy color over here so that this kind of toned itself down and so that it'll blend nicer. So what I think I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to apply it as is here and see how it feels. And if I need to, I can always try to like blend in a little bit more of this peach into here. My goal is that this obviously is all gonna be painted in this peach and this over here into this parchment right here. And I hope to carry it over to about here, to the about the lip. So it'll start to really blend. I've been using these little paint rollers just because it's a lot of surface. And so what I think I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to go in over here with the roller, with the opposite color roller. So like this roller over here, blah, 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 blah. And then when I start to get into the ombre section, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a smaller brush like that so it can have more curated strokes. So it really feels like it's like blending. We're gonna wait for these to dry and then we're gonna start the next step. Here, I can kind of show you what it looked like. What we did is we put the paint on here. This rolled on here ever so slightly. It's a little dry now. I just rolled it on like that. It was super easy. It took only a few minutes. And because I'm not like a real artist, what I did was I took this paint and I just was like, <laughs> squirt it directly on the canvas. I know there's probably somebody who's gonna have a heart attack as soon as they hear that. Don't worry about it. So we're doing that, we're doing this, we're waiting. And once we get started, I will show you guys how it's all coming together. Let's update. I'm gonna show you what I have now. I've ombre these colors together. This one's the more like dominantly pink one. This is the more dominantly, this sandy parchment. And then this is the one where I'm kind of going half and half. But what I noticed is that when I went here with the pink, the sandy color started coming through. So what I decided to do was I started to do another coat of this. And I started using that skinnier brush. I tried that one and I was like, it's just as fat as the friggin' roller. What I did was then I went in with the thinner brush to bring the strokes 
in like that so that it faded through. So we're doing it like this, and then what I didn't do here was I did not mix these two colors together before I put it on here. So this is the like solid pink over here. But I really like this over here. I just think it's looking like a little like muddy in some places. So I think I just need for it to dry a bit and possibly do like another coat of this parchment. But the ombre part, I really like. It looks very like faded over. This is good. I think I'm good with this. I think I'm gonna let this dry and just kind of see what happens. I don't mind the like imperfections because I think like all in all it'll make it look nice. So what I'm gonna do here is why I left this blank is that I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go with another coat of the parchment and I'll bring the parchment in from there. So there's not gonna be a lot of crossover. But then this will be like less half and half and have more of this sandy ombre, which I'm still okay with. This looks fine. This looks like a muddy mess right now, but I'm kind of liking it so far. I think it's gonna look really nice in the end. But this is where we are right now. This is what I've kind of done so far. Oh shit. See, I didn't paint this like edge right there. So I did all the edges. So I'm gonna go and do this edge right here. I'm gonna wait for everything to dry. Do another coat on this one. I think everything else is okay. I'm gonna do this right here. So I'm gonna do all that, but then I need to find a sketch that I'm gonna do on top, which I'll do in black, and I'll do it like freehandedly. It's been a minute. I'm gonna show you what's happened. These are our two paintings, and this came out really nice. This came out really nice too. So I cleaned this up. I love it because when they sit next to each other, they'll ombre into each other and out. What I did over here on that one was I found that where I started with this sandy color that I got really dark in the middle when I started to paint over it. So I had to put a few coats, which is now kind of drying because you can see where it's a little bit brighter, through the middle again and I like ombre it into that sandy color again, but cleaned up really nicely. I even to the point like brought all of the sand into the middle and hated it and had to wait. And then I like painted it that peach into the ombre again, but I love it. They are cute. This one was like my best four way transition. I brought the colors and left some white in the middle. So I left some like unpainted canvas up here in the middle. And then when I went in with a second coat of the sand, I brought the sand in, which helped this ombre really nicely. And then I'm really happy with how these like came, came out. I, this is my, still my favorite one. It looks like, like it transitions a little bit better, but I still like that as well. I like that it's kind of uneven and it like brushes out. So I really like this and I feel like I could handle it. It's this right here. So I can do one of one, one of the other. It feels fun, flirty. I like it. I like to just like, if I started a project, I like to just get finished. So am I gonna stencil it out on the canvas? No, I'm not. I want to get this done and hung up on the wall today because I'm just on a schedule. I'm gonna look for something and then I'm just gonna freehand it because I think that like, it's gonna be something I can handle and if I make a mistake, I'll just kind of go with it. I find like beauty and like the imperfections and stuff. Kind of cute, fun, so flirty. Okay, I think it's gonna look good. So I, I finished, I'm like kind of shocked. One, I thought it looked bad for a second, but now that I keep looking at it, I'm like, I think it looks kind of good. I mean, that looks not bad. My ombre, I love it. I think it looks good. See, this pink kind of fades into the next one, fades out here, and this little guy, I was gonna put this little guy in my bathroom, but I think he looks kind of good right here with his family. The picture I found, this one sort of looks like this. This, I took some creative liberties. I made the eyes a little bit bigger because when I made it small, then there was this huge space right here, so I added an eye. And then I had one small eye, one big eye, so then I made a bigger eye. Then there was like nothing on his head, so I decided to copy the thing that was over here and add it onto there. Then I had all these shapes and I didn't add any color yet. I decided that I was going to like color everything in, because like when I went and got paints today, I got the pink and I got the sandy color. And I got the blue and I got the purple. So then everything was like kind of the same, but then I decided to like make the eyes like 
white and then paint those white and then I had the idea to like add the blue in here so I added the blue in but then this one looked empty so I decided to add like the purple in here I have shit everywhere I'm like I have shit all here that I need to take care of but it looks really freaking cute okay I'm gonna apologize because I bet you thought like oh this is a tutorial well it wasn't a tutorial. This is sort of like when Nikki Tutorials says she's doing a makeup tutorial and then she says, I'm gonna do my brows off camera. These are my brows off camera. Thanks so much for painting with me. You can tell me whether you like it or not. And if you like it, thank you so much. If you don't, good. Thing that this isn't your house then. Thanks for watching this video. It's kind of a disaster, but I got it done. Love you lots. Like and subscribe this video, or whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>